What happens when you cross a dog, an anglerfish, and a frog? You get this adorable creature, the bulb dog. For this play as Dino Challenge, I'll be starting as a baby bulb dog and traveling from the easy portal spawn area down the dangerous underground river of aberration to the edge of the mysterious blue zone to find my lost bulb dog friend. Starting as a baby means I'll start with just a fraction of my health and very little food, so my first goal is just to find something to eat so I don't starve. Luckily for me though, bulb dogs eat mushrooms, and there are plenty of them down here on Aberration. I was super excited to find some food so easily and spent a good while just gathering mushrooms and berries in this nice friendly area. After building up a bit of health, I decided to be brave and venture out a bit further. Hello there, can you point me to the blue zone? Why, thank you, sir. Off I headed in that direction, and for a moment I got distracted trying to kill these glow bugs. They were faster than expected, though, and I ended up giving up the chase before moving on to kill this dodo instead. I spent enough time gathering mushrooms that now I'm fully grown, which means I can gain experience and level up. But first, I think I'd like to avoid whatever those stegos are fighting. Made my way up this metal ramp to safety and chomped a couple more dodos before stopping to level up. Speed is going to be my only hope for this challenge. This place was dark, but my little light wouldn't work, so I put on this helmet instead. Perfect. I was getting close to the end of the portal area, but this Diplo was not having it. Hey now, what's that all about? Well, excuse me. I didn't even want your berries. My journey continued out of portal and down the side of this cliff towards the water. It seemed safer somehow to stay closer to the edge and surrounded by these rocks. The whole place shook for a while and some things fell from the sky, but they were of no use to me, so I moved on closer to the water. I knew if I followed the river, it would take me to the blue zone, and that was the plan for now. But hey, look, I'm pretty sure that's another bulb dog. Hello. I'm headed to the blue zone. You want to go? Well, guess that's a no. I stopped for a quick bathroom break, then finally made my way to the water. Debating on which way to travel, this raptor made the decision for me. That water is looking great. I think we might just go for a swim. Apparently, bulb dogs are much faster in the water, which was great news to me. Maybe this adventure will be a success after all. I made it to the other side and killed a couple dodos before noticing these raptors. You know what? I'm just so thirsty after all that work. Uh, we might just head back to the water. Did a bit of fishing for some stress relief, then stopped at this waterfall to get a good vantage point to plan my next move. I could see pretty far ahead and looks like the path to the left is all clear. Back in the water I went, but this time it wasn't so friendly and this piranha tried to eat me. The path down to the river was safe, well for me anyway. These mushrooms sent me on a short trip through a long rainbow tunnel and after that I made my way onto this rock to get a better view. Yep, that's definitely a spino over there. I hopped down and hugged close to the rock wall until I made it to the edge of another waterfall. Sure looks like a fun time down there, doesn't it? I thought on my best options and decided jumping into the water was probably my best bet. In I jumped and dove off the edge to the water below. The waterfall made it hard to see, but I made my way to the shore, followed by this piranha. Not today, buddy. I kept leveling up speed. Melee isn't even an option, and I don't think any amount of health will save me if one of these crabs catch me. Wait, was that a Sarko? Yeah, definitely a Sarko. I climbed up this rock to avoid being the gator's dinner, then made my way down when I thought it was safe. Wanting to level up a bit more, I spent some time gathering berries and mushrooms, but they were too heavy, so I dumped them all. If I was caught loaded down, that would be the end of me. Rested for a minute in this little bulb dog-sized crevice, then squeezed my way past this blue crab. Look, I'm blue too. Please don't eat me. After that, the other side of the river started looking a little safer, so I made my way across. Yeah, yeah, I see you there, piranha. Ooh, there's some raptors. I guess I just thought this side of the river would be safer. I carefully headed to the water with crabs on one side and raptors on the other. At this point, I wasn't too bothered by the piranha. Look how cute they are trying to catch me. As my journey continued, I killed a couple more dodos and tried to climb this rock, but couldn't get to the top and just pooped on it instead. I was struggling to get a good view, but I pressed on anyway. Right into this sarco, but I don't think he sees me. Ooh, nope, now he does. Pretty sure that's a raptor back there too. Maybe we can just escape up this rock. The Sarko ended up distracted by something tastier than me, but no way was I heading back towards that raptor. Guess it's back across the water then. I was starting to get more comfortable as a bulb dog. Towing the line between the water and the land seemed to be the safest way to travel. I could outswim the land creatures and outwalk the ones in the water. 
Every chance I got, I would find higher ground and look ahead before traveling on. All it would take is just one bite from some creatures and I would be toast. The path ahead looked clear for a ways, so I stopped for a while to harvest some mushrooms and level up. I was finally getting close to the blue zone and the river was getting a lot more dangerous, so I made a difficult decision to leave the speed the water gave me to continue my journey on land. The trees and rocks were my only protection from predators, but they couldn't protect me from tripping into another mushroom mess. I ran at first before realizing that was probably a mistake. So then I just sat there until I was done pooping myself in Rainbow Land. Whoa there, buddy. Where are you going so fast? Well, that'll make you nervous. I continued on anyway and ran into another bald dog. Hi there. Hmm. Uh, okay then. Things were much darker now as I approached my goal, but I had my helmet to light things up a bit. Hey. There's my friend. It had been a while, but once I gave them their favorite food, we were besties again. What? Our home was destroyed by snakes? Well, looks like we've got some snakes to deal with. For some reason, my friend only wanted to walk, but we weren't far now. Stopped for a bit to admire the view on the sledge before finally spotting the blue tree we once called home. After scoping out the area from the sledge, I plopped down and we continued on our way. We were getting closer, but not only was my friend slow, I was starting to wonder if they could see either. Just go around. Never mind, I'm coming. Here, go this way. Trying to travel with another bulldog was proving difficult, but I was patient. My friend got stuck on another rock, then when I thought I'd lost her again, she just popped in out of nowhere. Turned around one more time, thinking I'd lost her, when she jumped out from behind this rock and scared me. We'd finally made it to the path home, but this megalosaurus was blocking the entrance. That's okay, we'll just go around this way. We climbed up this rock wall and then fell down the other side, but our squishy little bodies seemed to absorb the impact well. Up one more wall and then down onto this rock we fell. This obstacle proved too much for my buddy, so I backtracked a bit to show them the way. I could see the blue glow up ahead and we were finally home, but that is definitely a snake up ahead. It started our way, and I hoped it might go after the beetle instead. Nope, it's definitely after us. I wasn't sure what to do next. Outrunning it was no problem for me, but Slowpoke here didn't stand a chance. Then it hit me. We need backup. I introduced the snake to a few of our neighbors, and problem solved. Now, why don't you just stay here this time? I think I'll go check it out myself first. And good thing I did, there was another snake. Let it out to the monkey and they tussled themselves right off the cliff. Oops, sorry big guy. There was one more snake left and I led it to this roll rat, but I got myself stuck on this knocked out iguanodon. Uh oh. The snake bit me once, but I managed to make it through and my red roll rat friend took care of the rest. Now we were free to move back in under our blue tree and rebuild our home. And you are free to go check out me playing as a wolf if you haven't yet. Then let me know in the comments what you want to see next.